In a little coastal village a long time ago, there was a young man named Hiroshima Taro. He was a skilled fisherman who worked hard to support his aging parents. Each day, he would go to the beach, cast his net into the sparkling sea, and bring back fish to feed his family. One sunny day, while Hiroshima was taking a leisurely walk along the beach, he saw a group of mischievous boys. These boys had caught a small sea turtle and were being mean to it, poking and kicking it. Hiroshima felt sorry for the turtle when he saw tears in its eyes. Hiroshima decided to step in. He firmly told the boys to let the sea turtle go, but the boys were stubborn and said, it's our turtle and we'll do what we want. Hiroshima didn't give up. He took some coins from his wallet and offered them to the boys. Sell me the turtle, he said, and I'll take care of it. The boys were happy to take the coins and ran off. Hiroshima carefully checked the sea turtle to make sure it was okay. Then, with gentle hands, he waded into the shallows and let the turtle go back into the sea, telling it to be careful and good luck. A few days later, Hiroshima was back on the beach, taking care of his fishing gear. To his surprise, a huge turtle came out of the waves. It was the same sea turtle he had saved, but it had grown into a majestic creature. The turtle spoke with a voice that sounded like the ocean itself. Hello, Hiroshima Taro. Thanks for saving me. I've grown up now, and as a way of saying thanks, I'd like to invite you to the deep sea palace of the Dragon King. Climb on my back. Hiroshima was speechless, but climbed on the turtle's back. They went far out to sea, and Hiroshima could suddenly breathe underwater as if he had gills. Eventually, they reached the deep sea palace, a place of incredible beauty. The princess of the palace welcomed Hiroshima warmly. Welcome, Hiroshima, to the entrance gate of our realm. You must be hungry after your long journey. Come in and enjoy our hospitality. Hiroshima went into a beautiful room with magical panels showing the changing seasons. He had fragrant wines and delicious food from the sea. Then the sea creatures sang together and the princess performed an elegant dance. Time passed and after three months, Hiroshima remembered his home village and his family. The princess wanted him to stay, but he insisted on going back. Before he left, the princess gave him a shiny black box and said, Hiroshima Taro, your age and this adventure are safe inside this box, but you must never open it. Hiroshima rode the giant turtle back to where they first met, but his village was unrecognizable. The houses were different and he couldn't find his own. The villagers were all strangers and didn't know him. One elder said he'd heard a tale about a man named Hiroshima who disappeared into the sea 300 years ago. That's when Hiroshima realized he'd been away for much longer than he thought. Curiosity got the better of him and he opened the black box. A puff of smoke came out, and suddenly he turned into an old man with a white beard and wrinkles. Hiroshima learned that time and the sea held mysteries beyond imagination. His journey showed him that while the world changes, the sea remains the same. So, as an old man, he gazed at the waves, knowing that some secrets are best left unopened.